Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for June 16th through the 30th for my Geminis. Hello, my Geminis. Happy birthday. So, it's longer reading. I use three decks of cards. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. Gives me that main message. Then I follow up with my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. Gives kind of fills in the gaps. And then I finish up with my Osha Zen Tarot cards for any words of advice. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused each deck with Reiki energy, but this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like leave the rest okay now one of the things a couple of things about june june 17th and i mentioned this before is our um, full moon in sagittarius it's a very full it's a very hopeful and optimistic moon now the other thing is that there are like right after that there's these three planets i think it's the 18th and 19th i think it's neptune mars and mercury so it kind of gives a little bit of a weird energy too. It's kind of like that, you know, like that. In, in when we were kids and there was that pushy, bully type of energy. So that, just kind of be aware of that. Now, I am somebody, I don't tell you to um, worship the moon, but I do understand and appreciate the energy that the moon provides. It's divine creation. So I will tell you to get out there and release, relinquish, and request. Release what's holding you back. Relinquish what doesn't serve you anymore. And request because it's okay to ask for stuff. Now, on the 21st, we go from our Gemini birthday energy to Cancer, um, water, emotional energy. Um, also, too, in the Northern Hemisphere, that is the summer solstice, and for the Southern, it becomes the winter solstice. Now, this isn't any more about June, but in July, just to prepare you, July 7th through the 30th or 31st, I think 31st, Mercury goes retrograde, retrograde again, so just be aware of that, okay? Now, okay, one card just popped out. Let's go ahead and cut and see what we have here. Okay, three cards. The first one is face up. Let's see what we have. Oh, I see it. Here we have balance. Archangel Zedkiel. Okay, Archangel energy, very strong energy, very, you know, this is about, yeah, you need to make sure that you keep that balance. I'm not, you know, okay, it's the work and it's the work life, of course, as we're always hearing about it. And but I really feel that there's like this emotional, there's this emotional and physical balance. Maybe you need to get out and exercise. I'm sorry. So, but maybe, you know, but it's like, you know, um, I don't feel like you're taking care of yourself as well as you can, both emotionally and physically. Maybe you need to drink water. Um, but again, you know, the thing with the exercise that I'm coming up with is that, you know, while that does help your body, it also helps your, you know, your your hormones, your endorphins. It helps, you know, put you in a happier place. So if that's a if that's reasonable and it's something that you can do, you know, think about how to do that because I feel like there's this unbalance, this imbalance, imbalance between, you know, you're having this more like this physical, emotional type of imbalance, okay? So the need to, well, the, the need to um, balance, and, um, the need for balance and moderation, I don't have my glasses, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. Now, it could be too that maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe you're going through some, um, something like a court proceeding, something like a reevaluation, something like um, reapplying for a mortgage, something that has to do with a little bit of a legal issue. And I'm not, you know, I do not do legal advice. I'm just saying that make sure you have somebody very strong in your corner who is looking out for your interests, that, for whoever that is for. Second card, the seven of air, that is, de that is definitely your energy along with Libra and Aquarius. Wi-Fi energy, mind type of thought energy, plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. This kind of goes back to that thing that I was just saying, that if there is some sort of, and I don't even know that it's legal per se, 
It could, of course, be any type of relationship. It could be relationship, job, um, you know, that could be, you know, work, um, personal, or family. But I feel like, again, that there, that there, you need somebody to represent your interests, okay? So now that, you know, that could be somebody from HR, that could be a union representative, something like that. But you need somebody that's going to be very clear thinker, a very clear thinker. And whatever this is that's going on, it, it might, it's making you a little bit emotionally, uh, it's, it's affecting you emotionally, okay? And I don't even know, I mean, is this, is this a layoff coming? Is this, um, you know, some changes? Um, you know, I, I do, I go back to that mortgage thing, you know, so is this, you know, you're worried about stuff like that? You know, I mean, you know, it, it's like, it's like, you know, you've been having a really um, stable, good, you know, energy time. And now it's like these last two weeks, your energies are kind of a little bit more erratic. Okay, so I want to tell you to take care of yourself and make sure that you have, you put, you have in place what's needed to, again, protect yourself. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go to this last card. This one is reversed. So here we go. The nine of air. Okay, so this is expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless night. So this, your energy here is just, it, you're like, you're out of balance with this. Okay, your emotional and your physical, everything, you know, you're worrying, you're stressing yourself out. Um, I can't tell you what, at this point, whether that's necessary or not necessary. I can tell you that it's not useful to you. If you're not getting sleep, then you're not able to necessarily, you know, you're not able to um, make good decisions, okay? So what is this about? I, uh, again, I think I told you what I, you know, it could be about work, could be something with court. I feel that it's, but I mean, I think that it's, you know, you're... You're, you're, you're holding on to more than what you need to hold on to, okay? Not all of this is on, your, is on your shoulders. Not all of this is your responsibility. You need to share that with others, okay? So whoever that is, you need to share that. If that is, again, relationship, if that's at work, you need to share that with the others. You, you know, if it is with, um, you know, if you're able to, I'm not, you know, many times people are put into, you know, confidentiality issues, things that they can't share. If this is with a um, relationship, if this is, you know, with a, I'm sorry, with a personal relationship, with a family, you need to share it. But there's, you know, there's some worries, there's some stress um, that's um, bothering you and you need to share it, okay? You need to lighten the load off of you and it's not your, it's not you, it is affecting you, but it's not for you, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the next three. Can you give us some clarification? Now, remember, this, I think, though, could be this piece, okay? It's not necessarily the whole two weeks or the whole, you know, it's this little thing that just keeps bugging you. It keeps popping itself up, okay? So let's see what our next card is. Okay, now... The interesting thing is whatever you're worried about, this card is basically saying material and spiritual prosperity. So it doesn't, you know, right now, it does, so with this, it, it doesn't necessarily appear to be necessarily a money thing. Or, you know, so because this is saying, you know, money is okay for you. Spiritual, spiritually, you have that connection. Except that if you're having this much worry, if you're having the mu this much worry, you need to make sure that you keep that connection strong because, you know, what is that, you know, that saying, if you pray, why worry? If you worry, why pray? Um, you know, whatever your belief system is, you know, mine is if you give it, if you give it up, then, you know, don't keep taking it back, okay? So maybe that's, you know, this is telling you, you know, I don't necessarily feel that it is a, it is a money, money thing, I, you know, but it is something. It is something that's bothering you, that's worrying you. There's a worry. And, but this is saying either this is saying that things are going to turn out okay for you or it's just not about money, okay? Now, next card. Let's see what we have here. Okay. This is a very reflective card. This is a card where you're kind of nostalgic. This is a card where you look back and you're kind of like, oh, I only wish. I wish things were the same. 
I wish that I didn't have to go through this. This could even be a divorce, um, and it doesn't, you know, a divorce doesn't have to be people. It's like, but it's like this, you know, this, this separation, and it's like, I wish. So it could be, you know, I wish that, you know, I remember where I used to work, people used to say, oh, I wish like that it was before we were bought out. I wish that it was like with the old company. That would we, I would hear that a whole lot. So it's that kind of thought pattern where you keep going back and saying, oh, I wish. Well, you know what? It's not the same anymore. It has changed. Things have changed. But it is, you know, you're, you're making yourself, you're, you're making yourself um, more stressed than what the worry actually is. Okay? So let's go to the last card here. So yeah, you need rest and rejuvenation. You need to take some time out. You need to um, you need to step out of the situation. You need to look at it maybe a little differently. Um, you need to um, you know do your meditation. Use the full moon energy. Get out there. Give it up. Release it and relinquish it, and then request. But whatever this is that's making you, I mean, it, it's really it's really been upsetting you too. But again, I, you know, so what, what, what's not money? What, you know, I mean, if it's not money, so could it be about a job? And, you know, maybe you are losing a job, maybe you're losing a job, but you've got enough money in the bank so you can live off of that. That could be. Um, could it be that um, a relationship is breaking up? It could be, too, that maybe you are moving. Maybe you are moving from a place that, um, you know, has many years of love and maybe you raised your family in it. Maybe you're getting ready to retire. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, it's this, it's this process of this, whatever this is, it, it's a part of this is also about letting go. Okay. Letting go so you can go forward with it. It's just, it's just really, it's really upsetting you. And I'm so sorry for that. I'm very, I'm very sorry for that. That, you know, I go back to balance, you know, maybe again, if you're, if you are able to maybe get out, take some walks, get out with nature, you know, do some exercise. Okay. I, but it does turn out okay. It does turn out okay. But if this is about, you know, this is about, you know, almost about releasing and letting go. Okay. Let's go on and see about, um, okay. Cut deck. Final words of advice. Okay, let's see what we have. Face down. Okay. Okay, this has been popping up a lot. Fighting. So what are you fighting? Are you fighting yourself? Are you fighting an outside entity? You know, are you, you know, is this some, is this a big, is this a bigger fight? This is, you know, be aware of what it is you are actually fighting and who you are fighting, okay? Next card. Okay, reversed. This is the outsider. This is, you know, here, this is, I mean, everybody, you know, this, you feel sorry for this little one. This little one has got the, you know, the one strap, the other strap is looking in. You don't know what they're looking at. I'm going to say that I think it's a little he you don't know what he's looking at, and he's feeling very alone, very much on the outside. Be aware of that. But if you look close, the lock in itself isn't truly locked. He, you know, if he would look, he could unlock that and take those chains down and go inside if that's where he, you know, wanted to be. So, you know, this is this is kind of this is I, and this is a rough reading for you. I'm sorry about this. I, I, I like to give you happiness and positive. And this is the longer chapter. But this is, you know, this is you kind of, um, again, looking, you know, this is on that memories of love, looking back and looking and saying, I wish, I wish, I wish. Okay, so there's a little bit of loneliness there with that. Okay, next card. Breakthrough breakthrough. This is all about, I think that this is a lot of this is about letting go. You know, like I said, maybe you're, maybe you are, you know, maybe you've sold that house that you grew up, you know, that your children grew up in. Maybe, you know, maybe you're leaving that job. Maybe you're leaving that relationship, which is more personal. Okay. Maybe also, maybe you're going, maybe your children are leaving the house. Maybe somebody's getting married. So something that should be joyful is creating stress and, you know, for you. 
maybe you're the one that's getting married and you're the one that's leaving the house and now you know maybe you're the one that's going to school and going away and you know and yet it just it's just all you know it's just all getting too much for you but this one I love I love this one this is though because if you look through it at the end of it all breakthrough triumph you know letting go this is all about letting go for you it's okay it's okay I give you big hug okay I give you big hug now hope you don't mind but I'm going to ask please like share and subscribe okay but <laughs> my Gemini's as always know that you are loved and be blessed bye bye